So here's your escrow analysis for the last year. You do have a shortage of $5,212. What do you mean a shortage of $5,212? It means you paid that amount under what you were supposed to pay last year. Do you remember when I was here last year and I asked you if my payment was $2,149? Yes, of course I remember. That's the amount that you were supposed to be paying. So you gave me the wrong amount to pay per month? Nope. $2,150 was the correct amount and that's the amount that you should have been paying. Okay, so you told me $2,149. I paid $2,149. And now you're telling me that I'm short $5,000. Yes, exactly. That's exactly right. I, I need you to explain it because I just asked you if you told me the wrong amount and you said no. But I didn't give you the wrong amount. I gave you the right amount. $21.49. So this has happened to me. Not as extreme, but it has happened. So when you purchase a home, you have to understand you're purchasing the home at the equitable value that that person that just sold it to you sold it at. Once you've purchased that home, the county that you've purchased that home in will reassess the value. When they reassess the value of your home, your property tax can potentially go up. It usually goes up. The escrow company will usually have you sign documents letting you know that that amount can increase and you will receive what's called a supplemental tax bill sometimes. In the event that you receive paperwork from the county, from your mortgage company, <laughs> Um, if you've increased any coverage and insurance on your property, you need to make sure that you understand that increases your payment. So when it happened to me, I caught it because the mortgage company sent a letter to my house letting me know that I was short a couple hundred dollars in my escrow account because my value had been reassessed. So I just paid it up front. But then that did increase my payment over time, like an additional probably like 20 or $30 a month wasn't a big, huge deal, but it can happen. So stay on top of whatever is being mailed to you from your mortgage company, even if you have it set on auto pay, because that's how mine was set. So that's why it took a couple months to catch it. You got your payment set up on auto pay. You still need to check your statements, whether you're checking them online or you're getting them in the mail, check your statements. If you're getting something from the County, check it because it has to do with your property taxes. So those are things that can happen when you purchase a home. When you're dealing with escrow, they will let you know that you may have a supplemental tax bill. Pay attention to what that means. A realtor should also be letting you know about a potential supplemental tax bill if they understand the process. So make sure you work with a knowledgeable realtor who knows the process of buying and selling a home, who can help mitigate these problems for you and help you understand what could come after you've purchased your home and you've been in your home for a year.